Good morning, guys. So I'm preparing myself for the trade session. Uh, I will also show you how I use uh, risk management in Forex trading. So as I see open this chart on M5, I see this box here that was created through the night. For me, interesting level is somewhere here and I'm expecting at least going price into supply and back to target 1. Then target 2 is here, target 3 is below this low. And that's maximum I, I expect from this trade. So let's clear this up and so when when I uh, when I said you that uh, I'm using one percent risk reward, so for every trade I using maximum one percent of my account, and I very easily do this with clicking on this S box button. So the order box is created. I just place it here in supply level where I think price is good to go. Finalize like this and that's pretty much it. So this uh, trading box order management tool already calculates that 1% of my account for two positions. Sorry, I, I need to do three positions like I said. I just increase here one position added, reset targets here and you see now I have now three positions and lot size was recalculated, risk stays 1%. So like I said, if I now put here uh, targets here at uh, maybe or maybe here, it would be even better. Uh, there is, mo there is uh, not so big risk reward, but it is bigger chance than this bounce to here. Then target 2 will be here when this price break out. Target 3, my dream target, is below this low. That's pretty much it of this setup. I will also show you later uh, which function I will use for this setup. But uh, right now I would like to talk about a little bit more about this calculation. So this order box can split order up to five orders, small orders. Uh, you can set your risk per order box. So if I'm not so sure in the trade, I then put half percent. So you can decrease percentage here on this button. But for this trade, I'm pretty much sure uh, that it can at least hit this target here. So that's it. Uh, so what options do you have? Uh, let's see. I usually use this balance risk percentage. So that means 1% risk. You also have options equity risk percentage, free margin risk percentage, fixed lot size and fixed cash amount. So some, sometimes I say, okay, I will risk $100 and then this fixed cash amount is the way. If you have fixed lot size, then maybe you say, I every time I trade, I use one lot and nothing less, nothing more. Then you use this fixed lot size. But for me, uh, balance risk, risk percentage is the best way. Then, when I was talking about this uh, default risk reward, it can be set here. So this is some pre-configuration pre for uh, risk reward of the targets. Um, yes, you have a lot of other configuration here, but it's not for this video. It is maybe for next video. Okay, like this. Uh, 
I'm happy with this one so very easily with one click you have this order box set you can just fine-tune whatever you like and yes if you don't want to have this uh, market virtual order you can anytime click here limit and you will get three cell limits placed with targets if you change mind you can delete anytime like this that that's just something uh, in between um, okay so when I was saying I want to sell from this zone I think it's not good to touch trade to just uh, open position here and pray that price will not go here and you expecting it will go down so because I'm don't want to gamble so much I will use a reversal breakout function and I will show you how so if I'm 100% sure and price action was already created I will just click here sell and that means when price will came to this zone orders will be opened if spread filter will be green so yes here I need to change spread filter to 0 0.1 to euro dollar and uh, also check if you have uh, this time filter off because if you have time filter on that means uh, in this uh, in when if the price is in this uh, zone in this uh, gray rectangle then orders will not be executed in this time zone this is if you go maybe to a meal or if there are news you can disable order execution but right now I don't need this one okay don't complicate too much uh, I will not sell with touch trades but I will use this reversal breakout function and I will place it on this resistance and explain you what I'm expecting here so with this reversal breakout function I will achieve that price must go hit this level or go above this level and do not go out of this box but here it needs to be reversed and when the price will close below this uh, green line then orders will be executed so it is pretty much uh, the same if you look like if you touch trade you execute here but then you gamble that price can spike up and uh, take your order and you lose but if you say I want it need to go a little bit uh, inside and then reject then I have pretty much more options to sorry pretty much more uh, chance that it is rejected from this zone and at least some orders are here and I'm, I'm expecting always for the first target not too much just to cover this and uh, this position stop loss so if my uh, target one is hit then I'm very happy uh, with this trade so that's pretty much it uh, yes sometimes I also I also uh, lock profit so uh, let's say that I use this move stop loss function so I say that when price go let's say uh, below this uh, or maybe when when price let's say touch target 2 I want stop loss to be moved here so then for the target 3 stop loss is moved from uh, here to here and then I lock this profit so when the target let's say let's if I draw you so trade is opened price go here and then price go here at this time stop loss is moved 
to here to new stop loss and then I can only let's say pray that price will go here and do additional profit otherwise I'm not angry too much because I already have target 1 and target 2 and this is just a bonus okay what else can I say that's pretty much it so this is it for now and uh, this is how I see this euro dollar and with help of this reversal breakout function I will try to sell this level uh, for everyone who is interested in this uh, trading box order management I will put a link in the description uh, but you can also search for this tool on the MQL5 market so this is the tool trading box order management it also have a website with manuals and descriptions uh, you can also send email to this one and that's it thank you guys for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this is just uh, how I see the markets and try to take some profit from the markets at the safest possible way and as efficient okay please subscribe and see you guys bye bye